The 2012 Advanced Higher Paper then. Question 1, differentiation. First part, differentiate this quotient, if you wish. Turn it to project rule if you want. So I'll just use as the quotient rule. So it'll be square on the bottom. And then it's just like the product rule. Differentiate the first one, differentiate the top. That'll just be a 3. Leave the bottom alone, only minus. Now leave the top alone and differentiate the bottom. Not this squared one though, the original one. So it'll just be times 2x. Not an awful lot to this really. Well, it depends what this quadratic tidy up. Oh, what have I got? I've got 3x squared plus 3 minus 2x times 3x, that's minus 6x squared, and then minus 2x times 1 minus 2x. So I've got a bunch of negatives. Negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 1 squared, and then how could you tidy that up? The only thing I could do is take that negative out and make it 3x squared plus 2x minus 3 <coughs> over that same denominator squared. That's not very neat. Right, so that was part. Now, part B for four marks. Same again, we've got a product rule here. Within each of them, I'll put you functions of functions. This time it specifically says simplify your answer, because there wasn't a lot you could do with part A really, apart from taking out that negative. Well, it's a product rule, so I'll do it in two parts. First part, cos squared, a function squaring something. So it would be two times the thing you were doing. That's just go down to power 1, times the derivative of that function, which is negative sine x. And leave the other one alone, e to the tan x. Yes, I put it back up to e to the tan x. That exp, I think, is just a, a convenience if you were typing it out, saving time to use these things. a plus, now leave the first one alone. I'm running out of space here. Differentiate e to the anything, stays as e to the anything, but times the derivative of the function it's acting on, tan goes to sec squared. Now that's handy. We'll just tidy this bit up. I've got negative 2, I'll just put it in the usual order, sine x cos x to create that familiar phrase or saying, e to the tan x, but cos squared, sec squared is 1 over cos squared, so they'll cancel out, just in the menu, e to the tan x. Now there's a factorisation, an obvious one. e to the tan x comes out, leaving you with 1, just to reverse the order, minus 2 sine x cos x. Yep, one more line. 2 sine x cos x, that's the expansion of sine 2x. So 1 minus sine 2x. There, and that's part B. So there's the first 7 marks.